Today we want to look at the Bell & Gasset Circuit Setter Sizing Program and uh, use it in an example for the R.L. Detman Company Monday Morning Minutes. This particular Monday Morning Minute is examining a pump for an industrial application rated 6.7 GPM at 150 foot head. And the question is, can we use a one inch circuit setter whether the pressure drop required is very low or if it is most of the pump head. So let's take a look at the system sizer. First thing we're going to do is click on the circuit setter wheel. And we now have a screen showing the circuit setter sizing. In this particular case, we're going to go to a one inch circuit setter. And because I know the flow rate and I'm trying to understand what pressure drop I'm going to get, I'm going to go ahead and click on preset at the bottom, enter the flow rate at 6.7 GPM. And I'm going to start with a low head loss, let's just say three feet. And I know it's difficult to see because of the color, but in the setting right here, the present closed will be 2.6 degrees and at that point we will get three foot of pressure drop at 6.7 GPM and the CV of the valve would be 5.88. Now if we continue to throttle this valve during the balance process and let's say we needed 100 feet which would be very high if the pump only has 150 feet total but let's look at it. We enter 100 feet remain at 6.7. The CV is now dropped to 1.02 and the setting, again hard to read here, is 39.54 or 40 degrees. So here we can clearly see that a Bell & Gossett one inch circuit setter can be used at 6.7 GPM to throttle 3 feet or throttle 100 feet. If you would like to learn more and download the Bell & Gossett System Sizer program, simply go to www.depman.com, our website. And when you get to the website, click on System Design, Selection and Design Tools. And we'll come down to Hydronic Systems, and here you are, the System Sizer. You can click on that and download the System Sizer. If you would like to read the Monday Morning Minutes that this video mentioned, just click on Blog. And you can scan down to find it, or you can just simply go down to Hydronic Balance Valves, click on that, and it'll pop up. Thank you very much.